This video is 8 minutes in duration. You can either watch the entire video or click on the pause button now then fast forward to the relevant section. Timelines are included on the list on your screen now. To create a new job in the Labacus Innovator software just click on File and New Job. This will bring up the Templates browser. Here you can select the template for the different type of labels that we offer. Cables and cores, patch panels, outlets and faceplates, wiring blocks, cabinet labels and our OEM partners labels. We'll select cables and cores. There are further options available. Wrap around cable labels, tie on cable labels, two part labeling system, non-shrink tubing, heat shrink and fiber optic flag labels. We'll select the wrap around cable labels. This will display the different labels within the category. This will show the application, the label order code and a brief description of the label itself. You can sort the template list by clicking on any of the column headings. In this instance I'll sort the list by the label order code. We'll select the data and telecom wrap around cable label but equally the same method would apply to any of the other labels in the browser for the electrical and instrumentation industries such as heat shrink or tie on cable labels for example. So we've made our choice of template and now we're going to click on the next button. Here we have the job details box. On many of our sheet labels there is an area that you can print a useful description of the job or for information for use at a later date should you need it. At this stage it might be worth showing you the powerful context sensitive help module that is included in the software. Just press the F1 key on your keyboard and you will be taken to the relevant help section. Here you can see it has taken us to the job details help page which gives a brief overview of the job details box. The help module also covers other areas of the software and even includes some tutorials. And back to our job details. We'll call this job Building 1, Room 3, Cabinet 2 and then click the next button. Next we have the text alignment and field split. Here you can select the alignment for your text, left aligned, centre aligned or right aligned. The default is centre aligned. In the field split area you can split the labelling field itself. These are the light blue areas displayed on the screen. Options are no split which is the full field two columns, three columns, two rows, three rows or you can use other for more split options. We'll select the default full field and click on next. Here we have the build editor where you create the segments. The maximum amount of segments is 12 but we'll leave it at the default which is two segments. There are various methods of entering information into the segments such as typing in the text area, using the sequence tool, using the symbol tool, copying and pasting from any Windows application or importing from a spreadsheet saved in .csv format. These will be dealt with in more detail in other tutorials but I'll give you a very brief and simple demonstration here. Firstly I'll demonstrate typing information directly in the segments. The segments contain a text area that you can type information directly in such as this very simple example of 1, 2 and 3. Click on finish and your job will be displayed on the screen. Next I will demonstrate the sequence tool. To go back into the build editor click on the button on the menu bar, highlight the text in the segment and then delete. Click on the sequence tool button and this will display the sequence options available to you. The default sequence is 1 to 100 but you can have any numerical or alphabetical sequence that you wanted. We'll leave it at 1 to 100 and click on OK. You can see that the sequence has been generated in the segment. Click on finish and here it is displayed on the screen. Many users ask how to change the size and style of the font. The software will automatically choose the best size of font for you by means of the size to fit option. You can override this by clicking on the size to fit button to turn it off then clicking on the font button. This will display the standard Windows font dialog box which displays all of the true type fonts that are installed on your PC. We will select Courier New, Bold and Size 18 point and click on OK. As you can see the changes are instantly reflected on screen. I'll just go back into the font dialog box 
and return to the font size and style that I had. Next I will demonstrate an alphabetical sequence, so we go back into the build editor, click on sequence tool, but this time the, f the sequence will be from A to Z. We click on OK, and there's our sequence. Click on finish, and there it is displayed on the screen again. You can also add symbols into the segments. So this time we'll go back into the build editor, just click on there, click the symbol button, and this will display the symbol selection box. It displays all of the Windows true type symbol fonts that are installed on your PC. I'll select a suitable symbol, click on OK, and there it is in the segment. Click on finish, and there we have it on screen. Another way to enter information into the segment is to copy and paste from any Windows application such as Excel or Word. So if you already have a labeling list prepared, you could use this. We'll go back into the build editor, click on the symbol, and select no symbol to remove it. I have already copied a list from Excel onto my clipboard, and now I want to paste it into the segment. Click on segments, then paste, and click on finish. In this case the font is a little too large, so I just go back into the font editor and reduce the size to something more suitable. Alternatively, I could click on the size to fit button and let the software work out a recommended size for me. I will now show you how to import information directly into a segment from a spreadsheet saved in CSV comma delimited format. So I'll go back into the build editor, I'll just clear the information I already have by clicking on the segments, select all, then segments, delete. I click back in segments, but this time I'll select import. This will open a browse dialog box where you can browse to the locations of files saved on your PC, various places. Click on your spreadsheet and then click open. You are then presented with a list of columns contained in the spreadsheet that you can merge into a single segment. I can now select the relevant spreadsheet columns that I require for my job and then click OK. As you can see, the software has now merged all of the columns into a single list into the segment. You may just need to remove the header details by highlighting and deleting them. And now we click on finish and here's our job all ready for printing. This has just been an introduction into the Labicus Innovator labeling software. More video tutorials are available which show the different functionality of the software in more detail.